What's going on? I hope you all are good. So, today we've got a Star Wars fan film called Star Wars X-Wing and it kind of looked pretty good from the thumbnail so I thought we'd react to this considering there's not much news coming out recently about Star Wars. It's a really dry period for Star Wars. I've been doing more reactions lately because they're just so fun to do and I think it's fun just to sit back and watch something cool or badass and then just discuss it and talk about it during and after. So I wanted to do another one today and this video does look pretty good and I've heard that it's pretty good. So without further ado, let's get into it and see what it's all about. Noble Engine production. Okay, let's see what you got. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It's officially canon now. This fan film is canon. Oh shit. Right into the action. This is so well made. Oh, wow. Jeez! Hey, nice shot, kid. That was getting close even for me. Sorry, is this from so Star Wars? Our five was convinced Squad. I was gonna shoot you on accident. Probably not. It's just really good animation. This is when the fun begins. Making me think it's actually from right, a cutscene in Star Wars Squadrons, the game. Ooh! Loads of them. Imagine that. That is terrifying. We could not beat that army. On Coruscant 2. This is sick. It's weird to see Coruscant in the original era. Really is. See rebels and Coruscant. Are you seeing this? I'm getting some weird power surges. Looks like it's coming from the Senate district. Wait, you can be fire! <laughs> is that Palpatine sending the shock to raise all the uh raise all the ships like he did in the sequels? That was terrible. That was so stupid. I like that little callback there, if that's what it was. I'm guessing that's one of the people who made this. Put his face in it. This is sick. The animation's so good. And the face scans. I love stuff like this. This, is, this must have took ages for fans to make this. Look all the detail. Whoosh! Coruscant, bro. It's getting wrecked. This would be terrifying to live through. If you're not Anakin Skywalker or Palpatine or someone just powerful enough to throw a shit. Coruscant's such a beautiful city though, especially at night. It goes from 10 out of 10 to a 100 out of 10 at night. Love the music. Looks like that destroyer formation is right above the power. So range. many of them. Look, no, there's people still in the sky, just in traffic. <laughs> no, I wouldn't think so. That just going about the their day. coming from below the surface. Uh, I'm picking up a new ship ID. It's a ship, Wraith One. It's a damn ship. Look to the right of the set of chambers. What in the blazes? Oh, is another one. No, it's a big one. Ooh. This would be terrible. It wouldn't be able to do that either, honestly. The a ship can't break through a hard concrete floor, whatever it's made out of metal. That is terrifying. That's worse than Godzilla. All of these ships. Palpatine is going crazy. It's like in an alternate universe where the rebels win earlier. Oh, I just... Ooh, that is so well made. Of course, it's so fast that all of the other stuff will just stay where it is. It's not attached. That is so good. That's my favourite part of this so far. That was so well made. Good job. It's all well made, but wow. It's better than the sequels already. If you're a sequel fan, don't be mad. Coruscant. 
come on. Really, two X-Wings are gonna get rid of all them ships. Oh, so good. It can't be over. Oh, it's six minutes. Oh, it is. That went so fast, so I enjoyed it so much. Wow. That went so fast. The animation is just so good in this. But that must have cost so much to do. I cannot believe someone could make this, especially a fan who have to do it out of their own money. It's not like a company or anything like that, but they have money coming in from different areas, different angles, just money splashing in. They just decided to make this and it's better than the sequels. Sorry, sequel fans, but this is so good. I just enjoyed it. It's just something so simple for Star Wars, like two X-Wings versus loads of Imperial ships, huge ones. Why do I keep forgetting the names of them? It's really annoying, but I'm gonna put it right here. I might put it there and I'm just gonna put it down there just because. I'm just going to be more editing for no reason but anyway this was really good and the sequels and Kathleen Kennedy could have taken so much notes from this just a simple animation well done to whoever made this it was so good and you put so much care into it so I'm really happy for you that this was successful we've got many views and it was so fun to watch I just love watching something in the Star Wars universe happen because there's nothing better than Star Wars for escapism or uh, just an enjoyment really especially if you grew up with it and you loved it growing up. It just sticks with you, no matter what company tries to destroy it. But uh, it still sucks to talk about that. And we're gonna be talking about it for a while, but after Indiana Jones flops, Kathleen Kennedy should be gone. And even then, it doesn't mean that Styles is gonna fix itself. We don't know who the next person's gonna be. Someone clone George. George Lucas literally made a storyline about the Clone Wars, loads of clones, being in a war. Why haven't we cloned George Lucas yet? And why is he not owning Star Wars right now? I do not know, but it is what it is. We've got Dave Filoni, he's his apprentice. So he needs to own Star Wars, he needs all the rights. I say this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again. It just needs to happen, it's been long enough. It's been years. When did The Last Jedi come out? As soon as that came out, we knew it was in trouble. This franchise was in huge trouble. But finally, I think we're gonna be getting out of this issue at least with kathleen kennedy this year anyway that's another subject i don't want to keep getting on that every time i think about it i always have to rant because yeah it's just annoying we all know how it is but anyway this was great and this is what star wars is it's just music spectacle and straight magic that's all star wars is that's all it has to be and great characters of course amazing characters and awesome storylines and amazing world building the best world building ever you want to live in star wars when you watch a movie just because all the characters are so likable good and bad and it's just an awesome universe anyway that's about it did you enjoy this video what would you rate it out of 10 let us know down below and i'll see you on the next one hey i see you hey i fought a soaker over you oh hey oh we're friends yeah bro hey <laughs> get the fuck out of here